What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you drop a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you haven't already seen the playlist for this series, I highly recommend checking out the link in the description. You can find the link to the series playlist there and catch up on any previous episode that you might have missed. So, in the last episode, we installed both the engine and the transmission into our summer car right here. I also don't know how to properly pronounce this car. It's like the Sasuma or something. I don't know. A lot of you seem to really enjoy this game and sort of the lore behind it. I'm still pretty clueless. Something kind of got lost in translation here because in the last episode, we took the, uh, the envelope in here, the parts catalog envelope with our parts list, you know, things that we wanted to purchase from the catalog. We took this to Fleetari's shop and tried to drop it in his mailbox, ended up putting it back in our backpack somehow, which was just awesome. But as it turns out, we actually need to take this to, I don't remember dude bro's name, but the gas station owner. We need to take this to his shop and drop it in his mailbox. Why? I honestly don't know. It makes more sense to me that you would get parts from like the dealership type place, the service center, if you will. This game just has a lot of weird nuances that uh, that's just sort of go along with it. So today, long story short, we're gonna be hopefully pushing the car in the garage somehow and uh, in retrofitting all of the other parts that we have yet to install. We have the exhaust system kind of in the pit down there as well as the muffler here. We have some radiator hoses that we definitely need to install. We still have to put all of the fluids in the car. We have a new battery for this thing. The clock needs to get put in. We have wheels on the car, yes, but we do still need new tires. I'm hoping that we can get the car assembled enough today to where we can at the very least start the thing. I don't know about putting the body panels on, but we should still be able to, you know, put around these uh, these dirt roads without any body panels. I don't know why the game wouldn't allow us to drive the car without. But first, we need to take this envelope to Te 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 Quavos. I don't know, dude, bro, at the gas station. We need to take this to him, and uh, apparently he's going to order our car parts, which again doesn't make a lick of sense to me. So we're gonna take the uh, Jonas brother here down to our boat. We're gonna cross the lake, go over to the gas station, put this thing in his envelope box, doodad mailbox thing, and then hopefully in 3,000 plus hours or however long it takes, we'll have some car parts. Ooh, actually, you know what? This reminds me, we're kind of running low on fuel in the Jonas Brother here. So let's uh, let's see if we can focus in on this cap. All right, there it, <laughs> amazing, okay. Let's try to pick this thing up then. There we go. And we will uh, drop the kickstand again. If we just unscrew the fuel cap here, that should eventually come off. There we go. Now let's go grab our two-stroke fuel. We have one, like, two-liter thing of two-stroke fuel. Unless it's two gallons. What does that say? Five liters. I stand corrected. I don't know how much fuel this is going to add to the Jonas Brother, but we're going to try to hopefully fill the tank here. If I just turn this thing upside down, it should just sort of start fueling it, right? This is what I've been told to do. There it goes. All right, perfect. Kind of hoping it doesn't use the whole thing because that would really suck. But it looks like we actually had about a quarter tank and the fuel gauge said that we were basically on E. So that's kind of interesting as well. Also, a lot of you tried to fill me in on how to properly drink from our faucet in the kitchen or in the shower even. And I have finally figured it out thanks to all of your help. So we're good now. We don't actually have to just drink brewski after brewski and wake up with the shakes in the middle of the night because we're super hungover. Now we can properly hydrate so we don't dehydrate. Another thing that we need to do is actually remove this wheel and try to get the alignment right because as you can see it's got some some mega toe out here on this side and then this side is pretty well straight with the rest of the body so i'm gonna try to just tighten up the nut on the tie rod on this side and hopefully it pulls that uh that wheel in just a little bit more in the front actually wouldn't it make more sense if we loosen it and push this side of the wheel out bringing the front of the wheel in I don't know. We'll figure it out. Nonetheless, we got the Jonas Brother filled up with fuel now so we can take it down to the boat and uh, 
go to Dude Bro's shop across the lake. All right, ladies and gents, we have arrived down here at the docks. And now, let's go ahead, do it. Okay, we do have the envelope, that's good. Let's pick it up from somewhere, I think. How do you, oh, there we go. You have to pick it up from the very bottom. And then we should be able to just toss this thing in the boat like we've done many, many times before now. Okay, that's not working. Oh, no, 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 please don't get uh, get waterlogged. That would not be good. That's just what we need, dude, is to hydrolock the Jonas brother, our only like reliable source of transportation at the moment. We could take the bus. A lot of people have been telling me maybe just take the bus. How did that even happen? Okay, stay. I think we're good now. Okay, okay. For real, we're doing this now. We're doing this. I keep trying to drive straight. <laughs> Here I am, like, texting while driving my boat, which is definitely not what you want to do. Okay, let's shut her down. I'm, I'm trying to just go straight, and the fact that we have this thing sort of crammed in here willy-nilly-like is uh, is making me go to the left when I very clearly need to go to the right. Over like, we're completely turned around now. We're facing the house again. So I need to just pick this thing up and maybe lay it sideways somewhere where it doesn't hit the walls of the boat. Hopefully now we're okay. We'll try her again. Um. Wait a minute. You know what's funny about this? <laughs> you know what's really funny about this? I quite literally just received a comment from someone saying that this game is literally designed to torture you. And uh, I'm pretty sure we just ran out of fuel in our boat in the middle of the lake. So, yep, absolute torture right here, dude. Let's see. Can we? We can. We can unscrew the gas cap which we probably need two stroke fuel for this thing as well. I don't know, just a guess, but um, great. I'm glad we're out here in the middle of the lake. And what do I do now? What do I do for real? Do I, do I get out? How deep is the lake? Oh, it's very deep, but I can swim. Okay, and then climb onto boat. Do I hit E to do this? There's probably gonna be like a Loch Ness monster or something too, just to spite me. Oh God, no. Don't drop the fishing rod in the water. Climb onto boat. Yeah, this is, this is not working. Oh, fishing rod though is working. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, okay, that's gone for forever, unless it's floating. Is it floating? Wait, no, come back. It's gone, dude. It's gone. Wait, where'd the boat go? What is happening? I'm only very, very discouraged right now. Just, you know. Boat, gone. Fishing rod, gone. The Jonas brother that we just filled up with fuel, gone. So, uh, yeah, this is nice. This is good. I'm glad that we decided to play this game. Now I'm gonna swim home. Hopefully the boat just magically reappears and has the Jonas brother inside of it, along with our fishing rod, right? That would be nice. Update, it's about five minutes since we last saw each other. I'm still swimming. Wait, what is this? What is that? Is that my boat? No, that's the that's the other dude. I think. That's probably the, the fisherman boy that we see on the map all the time. Let me actually check the map. Okay, that's not how we do that. How do we do that again? Oh, it's not him. So that must be our boat. Dude, how did it how did it end up over here? It's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good. I see a boat, I see no fishing rod, and I see no Jonas brother. Wait a minute. What the heck is what's happening? I also just realized that I wasn't even walking forward. I was just getting teleported very, very slowly to the boat. This game just gets <laughs> worse and worse every single time we play it. Okay, but where's the Jonas brother? Do we go back to the dock? I'm, I have so many questions. I'm not even sure what we do at this point. I could, hang on, we have a mod for this. Okay, I should be able to pick the boat up now. There we go, that's what we needed. It's a little cheaty, I will admit, it's a little cheaty. But how else am I supposed to get it back to the dock, you know? Yeah, I have a feeling we just lost the Jonas brother for forever though. It's probably like deep in the lake. Oh, what a mess. What a mess, dude. Those of you that were hoping this series got to 10 episodes, 
I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Okay, currently using no clip mod, I'm just kind of going around searching for the Jonas brother. I feel like maybe there's a good possibility we could actually locate it and just sort of bring it back to our boats. Oh, here's dude bro on his boat. Maybe we could ask him for some fuel or something. Wow, he's flying, dude. I wonder if it just got launched into oblivion. Maybe it's actually at the store just waiting for us, right? Let's just check over here at the gas station just so we can oh what the heck's happening over here dog just so we can rule it out what is going on is this a car meet this is sick <laughs> i don't know what's happening but it's cool i like what's happening <laughs> i almost read that out loud um what's going on boys you guys got some subs? Is this what our car is going to look like? Because it's kind of ugly now that I see it up close. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, we're just, we're out for a stroll, just flying around. What are you guys up to today? You causing trouble? No? Okay. Well, good news, I found the mail drop. So I guess while we're here, let's go ahead and drop this thing in the mail. Maybe we can order another Jonas Brother while we're at it. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, they're on the move. There's been an accident. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Should I, should I just flip him off? There he goes. Dude. Whoa. Freaking Tokyo Drift out here. Do Ow. Wait a... Stop. Stop, dude. Hit and run. Driver killed. Young man. That's awesome. That's that's good news, right? The best of news. We've just died again. Two deaths now on the series. And we're only on episode what? Seven? <laughs> Yikes. Now with any luck though, the Jonas brother should have gotten reset and it'll just be conveniently waiting for us outside of our house, which we will probably have to no clip fly to now that we're starting off in the cemetery. Okay, but first, before we go back home, let's, uh, let's see. No clip, there we go. People are actually in the pub? <laughs> I love the music already, this is so good. Where are the speakers even at, dude? I don't see any. Oh, they're inside. What is going on, dudes? Are y'all arm wrestling? What's going on here? The most attractive fellows in town right here. Um, it's a bit loud in here. Y'all sell cigarettes and coffee, vodka, okay, beer. You sell just about everything here. All right, let's just do what we came here to do and drop off that stupid envelope so we can get some car parts. Our backpack's empty because we died. So what, we lost all the money we put in that envelope too? We died right here, so I mean, it's, it's not like we just dropped the envelope up upon death. Good God, this game is the literal torture, dude. It's just pain, sheer intense pain the entire time we've been playing it so far. I don't know if that's come across to anyone. I feel like that's the only reason people actually enjoy watching games like this is just to see me physically in pain. Actually, mentally in pain. Not even, not even physically in pain. Not yet. It, it's coming. Wait on it. Okay, so we have no clip flown back home. There we go, swearing up a storm, as always. And uh, there's no Jonas Brother in sight. I don't know, do we look around the map? Maybe it respawns somewhere. It's about nighttime as well. Maybe we just work on the car, you know? At least we know how to do this, and uh, it, it's not that terrible. What do I title this episode? Literally zero progress made. <laughs> Going backwards. Okay, well let's just get this thing pushed into the garage, shall we? I feel like that's a good place to start now that the sun's going down and we're gonna be losing light here pretty quick. So I'm going to move the floor jack because it's kind of in our way and we'll just kind of put it over here in the corner back where we found it and then this floor jack same thing we're just going to move it out of the way so we don't run it over and pop our tire or god knows what could happen at this point point. and then the motor hoist i'm just going to put outside because it's big and clunky and i feel like it's going to cause issues for us and then all this stuff over here we just need to kind of move to the side and instead of using the tractor to push the car inside. I think I am just gonna use the lift anything or grab anything mod 
which should be control P. There we go. We can enable that control P again. And now we should be able to pick this bad boy up from behind and just sort of scoot it on in. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for maybe more episodes on this game. I'm not really sure at the moment how I feel about recording more, but uh, you know, we'll see. Time will tell. There we go, dude. We have our summer car now over the pit so we can see every single thing that's going on underneath this bad boy Billy and we can see all of our mistakes made thus far. So we did secure or no, we didn't secure. We just installed loosely installed the gear linkage. So we're definitely going to need to tighten all that stuff up. I'm going to probably leave the alignment off for the time being until we get it inspected. And maybe we can actually take this to Fleetari and he'll align it for us. But let's grab this exhaust pipe. Okay, exhaust pipe installed. Now there should be some bolts, I would assume, on the header. Looks like there's two bolts right there. What size are you? Size seven? Go up here, grab our spanner set. Actually, let's just bring this down under there with us. We'll just bring it to Australia with us. Oh, come on. Can you just pick it up? This is the first header to exhaust that I've ever seen. That's only two bolts. Normally it's at least three. How do we properly secure this? I do see some bolts over here, size five. God, this game is just something else, dude. I wanna be able to drive this car around, but I've been told that since this game is made to quite literally torture us, as soon as we start driving this car, things are going to break. And then we're gonna have to go to Fleetari and actually buy replacement parts from him so that we can continue to drive and break more components. And it's just kind of this endless, vicious cycle. So we have that to look forward to as well once we get this thing up and running, if we get this thing up and running. I think we're all sorted then. And then in the back of the exhaust, there shouldn't be anything we have to do other than put the muffler on. So let's grab that. And then maybe there's gonna be a clamp or a bolt or something that we're gonna have to tighten or maybe tighten it to the exhaust hanger. There we go. Yep, here we go, exhaust hanger. Size seven, gotta get the old seven out again, dude. Okay, exhaust appears to be connected. Oh, there's another hanger right here. Nice, I'm glad I didn't miss that. Be a real shame, you know, if we just dropped our entire exhaust on our first test drive. And then I think all that's left now is really fluids and obviously body panels, but hopefully we can wait on that for a while. What is, what is that? Do we have electrical connectors to connect? Oh no, dude, I forgot about the wiring mess. So, okay, why am I walking slow? Come on. There we go. A jump sometimes sorts that out. So we have, is it this? No, those are Christmas lights. Okay, I, I didn't even know we had Christmas lights. The wiring mess. This I have no idea what to do with. Rear harness connector. Wait, what the heck? Wiring mess? Rear harness connector. What is going on? It just drops the wiring mess. So maybe we have to do the front wiring first, or maybe this is something, oh, fuse box right there. No, okay, that's not working either. Maybe this is something we had to do before we put the dash in and that would kind of explain why it was so difficult to install the dash. There's fuse box, main wiring harness connector. Okay, again, it just kind of dropped the wiring mess in the car. Yeah, uh, your boy's gonna have to look into this because I, pff, beats me, man, beats me. An entire episode with literally zero progress being made. Oh, we have a hood lock right there. Okay, didn't know that existed. Oh, there's some bolts right here. Size nine on the pedals that we haven't secured yet. Okay, we gotta go down into the pit, get out our size nine spanner, exit the pit. Oh, and we have to put in the, the axles too. We're kind of missing the axles. That's so funny that I didn't know these bolts existed because it's, it's usually nighttime when we're working on this car anymore. So I honestly, I can't really see much of anything happening. Holy cow, this game, I tell you what. Okay, let's try, let's try an axle. You know what, what do we have to lose? Let's actually push the car forward a little bit. I wish we had like a scissor lift in the pit or something. Guess we probably should have done this from the front as it would have been much easier, but we need to push it forward just enough to where we can get the car jack underneath of it. Okay, keep going until the tires lift off the ground. Right there seems about perfect. Now, size 13 lug nuts, which is especially weird. And we left the spanner set in the pit. <laughs> All right. This would be a lot easier, I think, with the ratchet set that we were going to order and then failed to order because, again, we died. <laughs> Try to focus in on the wheel, dismount the wheel, 
Perfect. Nicely done, dude. See, we're figuring it out. Backpack capacity. Backpack must be emptied in order to apply these settings. Dude, let's max the freaking backpack out. Are you kidding me? 50 items. Why did nobody tell me that existed? Alt X, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's Control X. Who knows? See if we can get this in place. We may have to take that spindle bolt out of this. I also can't see much of anything because we're blocking our only light source. Maybe we could use those Christmas lights for a light source. That would be kind of nice, huh? Should give us a little bit more light. All right. This says size 14. I'm pretty sure we have a 13, right? There we go. Okay. Let's back the spindle nut out of here. I'm assuming that's the hang up. That would make the most sense to me anyways. There we go. Perfect, dude. Now if we tighten this down, just like that. And then we should also have a couple of bolts to fasten here. Those are size nine on the transmission side. I know there's been a couple of people asking me if I would recommend this game. And uh, to be honest, yes, but maybe try to distance yourself from it at the same time. <laughs> there we go. We have one drive axle now completely assembled, put back together. Let's try to reinstall this wheel if it'll let us. And again, we are going to have to remove these wheels again so Fleetari can put some new treads on there for us because we can't do that ourselves. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did to the other side on this side. And I'm gonna try to maybe loosen up that tie rod too and maybe straighten out this side a little bit. Okay, with the axle installed now on this side, I'm gonna try to back off this nut a little bit and maybe oh no it wants me to tighten it that's really strange to turn the front in and push the back out that doesn't make any sense to me but sure we're going with it this is just a very loose eyeball alignment as well it's looking pretty close it's it's certainly better than it was and now this side actually kind of looks like it's bowing out all right with the wheel reinstalled let's see if that's any straighter oh dude for an eyeball alignment that's pretty solid both sides appear to be fairly straight so i think we're going to call it there for the alignment let's go ahead and lower this thing back down all right i would say i don't know I, i'm tempted to put fluids in this thing i just feel like maybe i should do a bit more research before i just kind of throw fluids at it and and hope for the best i mean we saw what happened with our with our boats once we ran out of fuel. So I think I'm just gonna prove to you guys that I do actually know how to drink now, thanks to your help. So there we go, just like that. We no longer have thirst. Let's open up a package of sausages, eat some of those bad boys, and then what else we got? Dirtiness, we can go over here, take a shower. There we go, we'll spray ourselves off. Oh, we got a pee too. Yeah, we'll just do that in the shower as well. All right, the last thing is fatigue and then stress. I got a couple of ciggies that'll help us out with that. Unfortunately, it kind of seems like you do have to smoke the entire thing. Otherwise, it's just in your offhand all the time. It, it just look like this all the time for whatever reason. So if you know of a way to actually get rid of that, let me know because I haven't figured it out yet. There we go. Almost down to the end here. I know stress is down, but again, we can't just not smoke the whole thing. There we go. Okay, he'll flick it away, and we're good. Perfect. So yeah, fatigue's the last thing. Since it is nighttime, we can go to sleep. You know what? We're gonna go to sleep. We'll wake up in the morning. I wanna go see if Uncle has finally showed up, because we're, like, nearing completion now on our summer car. I think the only thing we needed to have installed in the first place for him to actually appear was the driver's seat, and we are well beyond that point now. So I'd be surprised if he's not out there already. Oh, I see our handbrake has fallen out of the car. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. We'll reinstall this later. All right, great. So maybe there's something we have to do with the brakes, maybe possibly in the rear once we get the handbrake installed. But let's head back. We'll see if Uncle has appeared yet. Uncle Caselli. <gasps> Dude, I see something blue. I see something blue. With any luck, he'll be outside, too. That is definitely the van. Absolutely the van. Should we knock on his door? It's it's probably pretty early. Let's give him a couple of knocks. It's Saturday. You know what? It's the freaking weekend. He should at least answer for... for us. Oh, here he is. Hello? Hey! So I heard you would like to loan the van. Well, here are the keys for it. Fantastic. 
What does your hat say? Gifu? Okay. Why do you look like everyone else in the game? <laughs> Are we just related to everyone here? I would appreciate it if you turn the van here when you do not need it. Okay. Take the van keys. Thanks, uncle. You're not gonna like invite us inside or anything? This is this is just it, huh? Maybe can I sneak past you and go inside? What if we just try to sneak? Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna shut us in there. Wait, is he still? He's still behind the door. Well, thankfully, he did give us his van keys. I don't know if this thing breaks down. Where's the engine in this bad boy? Probably under these seats, right? Maybe, uh, maybe we don't actually have to worry about the engine in this car at all. And then, yeah, I don't see anywhere where we can access the engine. So I'm assuming this thing can't break down. It should be sort of invincible. All right, ladies and gents, I think that's where I'm gonna wind down this torture at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one, assuming there's gonna be a next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.